Hey guys, hope you had a great weekend. Sunday was busy for me as my red legs were in primetime action against the Cubs. Game 5 of the NBA Finals took place, and Money in the Bank happened from Columbus, Ohio. I managed to watch all three thanks to three different screens, and right now I'm going to share with you my thoughts on Money in the Bank 2015. First up was the kickoff show match between R-Truth and Wade Barrett. This match was okay with R-Truth coming out on top. It was strange though that Barrett, having already won King of the Ring, has not really been built up and hasn't done anything worthwhile. Hopefully that changes as the King of the Ring crown so far does not seem as prestigious as it once was. The next match on the card was the WWE Money in the Bank ladder match between Randy Orton, Adrian Neville, Dolph Ziggler, Kofi Kingston, Kane, Sheamus, and Roman Reigns. This match was really good and an awesome way to open up the main show. There are a lot of cool spots, jaw-dropping action, and in an unexpected swerve, Bray Wyatt came out and knocked Roman Reigns off the ladder, allowing Sheamus to grab the briefcase and the win. I personally do not like this decision at all. I think it would have been better if Roman Reigns won, than have Ambrose win the WWE Championship later in the night, and have Reigns turn heel by cashing in on Dean Ambrose. What followed was a Divas Championship match between Nikki Bella and Paige. The match started out really, really slow, and just as it started to get better, the Bella Twins did their switching places shtick, which resulted in Paige pinning the wrong Bella. Nikki took advantage of the situation and pinned Paige to retain her title. This match was okay, but there have been better bouts, and the ending was predictable, and in my opinion, stupid. The next bout was the Intercontinental Championship match between The Big Show and Ryback. Miz came out to do commentary, and it was fairly obvious to everybody in the arena and at home watching what was going to happen. He interjected himself into the match by attacking The Big Show, causing the match to end. It's obvious that these three will be involved in a triple threat for the Intercontinental Championship match sometime later in the future. What followed was the rematch between Kevin Owens and John Cena. The bout was incredible and blew the roof off of the place. It was fantastic and another match of the year candidate between these two wrestlers. Predictably, Cena pinned Owens for the win. However, after they shook hands, Owens beat up Cena and powerbombed him onto the ring apron. I think Owens should have won cleanly again as two wins over the face of the company would have done strides for his character by getting him over as a bona fide tough bad guy instead of the typical cheating dirty tactic heel. The New Day defended their tag titles against the primetime players in the next match, and overall it was an okay bout. In the end though, the primetime players came away with a surprising win and the tag team championships. I like that they won, and I'm looking forward to see how their rivalry with the New Day evolves from here. The latter match for the WWE title between Cincinnati's own Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins was next. Once again, these two guys delivered and gave an excellent performance. It was a fantastic match, and it made Dean Ambrose look virtually indestructible. In the end though, both Rollins and Ambrose pulled the belt down from the rafters and fell from the ladder to the ring below, with the impact causing Ambrose to lose his grip on the belt, giving Rollins the win and his title back. Overall, Money in the Bank 2015 was just okay, and in my opinion, it was an event of missed opportunities for the WWE. Instead of having Owens get two consecutive clean wins over Cena, WWE decided to go with the usual decision of having Cena break even. They could have also given Reigns a win in the Money in the Bank ladder match, have Ambrose win the WWE Championship match, and then have Reigns turn heel by cashing in Money in the Bank and beat Ambrose for the belt. I do not understand why they gave Sheamus the briefcase instead. It seems like it was just a swerve to be a swerve as nearly everybody thought Reigns would come away with a win. This nice pay per view could have been so much better and could have sent the wrestling world into a frenzy. Instead, WWE went with what made them comfortable and I believe that the event suffered because of it. They went with what was safe for business instead of doing what was best for business. WWE had planted the seeds for something epic, but instead it seemed that nothing happened. However, the Money in the Bank ladder match, Owens vs. Cena, and Ambrose vs. Rollins were the highlights of the night, but in my eyes, the whole event could have been a whole lot better.